Who's in your database? Hey guys, I'm Zach Sykes at Homestead & Co. Today, I wanna to talk with you a little bit about who's in your database. Now, at, in today's market, I'm shooting this right in the early part of 2021, we are in an extremely tight seller's market. We have no inventory, no homes to sell, and the listings are extremely hard to come by. So, every day we're looking for more listings uh, for our buyers, because um, there's, there's an extreme amount of demand uh, for our buyers. So, the 2018 Zillow Consumer Report came out and told us that 64% of listings uh, came from past clients, fear of influence, a referral, being known in the community. Guys, essentially that means they came from your database. So, um, who should be in your database? Now, when I speak with new agents and experienced agents alike, so many of them have a misconception of who should be in their database. Um, they think it should be somebody they feel comfortable going to lunch with twice a week and dinners out with. And, and so they have a really small number of people they have a really, really tight connection with. Now I want to give you a different example of who could be in your database. So I, I run through this scenario with our new agents during their orientations um, at our office. And I'm going to give you the answers to the scenario that my, that my wife would give me. So my first question to our agents is, um, so who is your favorite artist? And my wife's answer would be Garth Brooks every single time. And the next question I'm gonna ask him is, what's your favorite venue in town? And uh, one of her favorites is the, the Zoo Amp, the Zoo Amphitheater. So then I'm gonna give her this scenario. So let's pretend Garth Brooks is coming to town, putting on a free concert at the Zoo Amp. There's free booze, free food, uh, free travel and lodging for anybody that wants to come in. All people have to do to get into the concert is say how they know you. How many people show up? Guys, that is your database. So often we get caught up in this how tight a relationship we have to have, when in reality, we, it, it, we, this relationship is a professional relationship. So the bar is actually much lower on a personal level and much and, and so relatively high on a professional level. So, the minimum threshold for relationship you need to have with somebody in your database is if they drive by a house with a sign in the yard, are they more likely to call or text you or reach out to you versus call that number on the sign? Guys, those are the people that are in your database. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you go to lunch with twice a week. It could just be somebody that um, you're their default go-to uh, as a professional in real estate. I hope you're happy where you are, but if you're not, let's connect reach out to me at Zach, Z-A-C-H, at homesteadrealtyco.com. Again, that's Zach, Z-A-C-H, at homesteadrealtyco.com.